All right, BB, we're in downtown Fort Myers. Let's check out the waterfront real quick. Yeah, then we'll walk that way. And then we'll walk down the city thing okay. and check it out. Yeah, that's the Edison Bridge to get into Fort Myers. Fort Myers. Looks like they have a little vent over there. Let's check it out, see if we can get in. A lot of nice old architect. And at one time, I think it was in the 80s, this place was almost abandoned. A lot of these things were not here as far as like businesses. Because at that time, Fort Myers was really nothing they didn't have subdivisions like they do today there wasn't that many jobs down here it was just really a beach town so the city literally went dead and then they revived it paved the roads and brought businesses back because then the housing market was starting to pick up it says there's a Celtic festival going on. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out and see if we can see if we can get in there. We can find the main entrance. All right, this is the British Car Club, South Florida. Southwest Florida. Southwest, and we did get in, and we're gonna check out the Celtic. Festival. This is a nice car. I wonder what kind of car this is. That's I don't even know what kind of car this is. It looks like a. Aston Martin. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I remember these in Jersey. Some guy used to have one of these. I'll take the Aston Martin. Oh no. Maybe I'll take this. I think that's the Phantom. I think. No, Rolls Royce. No, I'll take the Aston Martin. You drive this every day or? Drive it a lot. Not every day. You're from the area? But yeah, that is a Phantom, an O10. I'll take this one. That one's nice. That's the Aston Martin. Man. This is one thing that's real in this area, Fort Myers area, and by Okeechobee and all that, is uh, they have signs that you got to watch out for the Panther. Yeah, the they have Florida. Panther crossings. Mm -hmm. uh, and as they're building the houses, they're just chasing them out of the woods. So, so we wait. We're gonna go to the Celtic. You're playing your music, dude. All right. Even though you got a Puerto Rico shirt on. Be all right. <laughs> no, we did not know. Alright, BB, we made it. We did. Alright, BB. We got 
dead. All right, scooch. Gotcha. You gotta gotcha. be careful if you don't have the bathroom upgrade. Meat pies, sausage rolls. Fish and chips. Scott eggs, mac and cheese. Alright, Guinness. So they have a bathroom pass upgrade. You pay extra to use the bathroom. If you don't pay extra, you got to use those. And then the bathroom upgrades is they have air conditioned ones. Ladies and gentlemen, please All right. put your hands together and give a very warm welcome. Let me know where you want to start from. I promise we are going to make this very definitely the best Saturday you've had in at least six days. So we're glad you're here. We got some great bands coming up, obviously. I'm out here just to make sure the people know where the noise is coming from in the beginning. So we're going to sing a song. How you doing? You might hear it later on, but it's very special to me. How many Irish folk in the audience? How many Irish folk? We got an Irish folk here. How many Scottish folk? There's the bathrooms with the air conditioning that you're paying for. Yes. Those are the only three I'm asking about. So here's one of my mother's favorite songs. I'm sure you're going to hear it later on today, but I'd like to start off with a little song called The Foggy Doom. It's about a time in Irish history on April 24th, 1916, for the Easter Rising when 2,000 brave men and women from Dublin, men and women, stood up against 20,000 British soldiers. We did not win the revolution, we don't win many of them, but it set the stage for the war for independence in 26 free counties. So this is a great song, if you know it, sing the words. T'was down the glen one Easter morn To a city fair road I there are lines of marching men in squadrons pass me by. No fife did hum, no battle drum did sound its dread tattoo. But the angel's bell of the liffy swell rang out in the foggy dew. I proudly hide over the town with fog out the flag of war. Twas there to die beneath an Irish sky that soon will see the bar. And from the rains of royal. Where to next? We gotta see those right there. While we're ten years hung with their long range guns. But the only region I see is on the shores of the Great Sea. Oh, have me die, my pierced side, a fog with cover. There ain't a key where the feet are. For those who die, for that boy, you. It's a handle. And the world yes, did gaze with deep amaze at those fearless men but few who bore the fight yeah, so that freedom's life the squadrons passed The by. ring I bought you. Yeah. No and I approve. Still got it? No, Not even yeah. wearing it. It's too tight. You have a flat but the angel is better But the angel is better And a foggy go Oh, thank you very much Thank you Thank you I'm going to sing another song that's related to the rising 
morning, Joseph was executed in the Stonebreaker's yard. If you ever want to hear a great, great, great version of this, listen to Mr. Jim McCann from the Dublin. Tells you what all the symbols the mean there. But this is one of my, if someone says, what's Cage's favorite song to sing? This is it. As we go. Okay. Chapel here in Old Kill Jail. I think about these last few days. Oh well, I will die. T shirts, thirty bucks. Thirty-five. Upon your finger. It won't be time to share our love. So we must say. Oh wow. Now I know it's hard. You my love to ever understand. The love I feel for these grown men. My love for our dear land. But when Paul called to his side upon your finger, there won't be time to share our love. So we must say goodbye. No, there won't be time to share our love. So we must say goodbye. Let's check out that thing over there. Real quick. I only deserve two thirds of applause for that, and I just realized I didn't sing the last verse. Smaller than the one that yeah, went Savannah. Savannah. This is the bay. You can tell by the brackish water. Amy Smile. Trying to see if you find a shirt. Is one of your clans up there or not? Put him in bed with the sound man's daughter. Put him in bed with the sound man's daughter. Put him in bed with the sound man's daughter. We have a bunch more over here in the box. We got a beautiful sound. I make me sound like I have my own I'm doing. But it was pitch dark in here until five minutes ago. And our light man showed up. And he's the reason the sun came out. So give our light man a nice round of applause for bringing light to an otherwise dark world. This is one of my favorite songs to sing. And just this week, I found out I am related. I am a distant uh, third great great uncle on my mother's side by a two man named Timothy DC. Timothy D.C. was a uh, Irish Republican, Republican Brotherhood founder. He was from Ireland, but he moved to Massachusetts when he was six with his family. He moved back to Ireland when he Guinness was 17 shirts. to fight for the yeah. cause of freedom. He was arrested <laughs> with another leader, uh, Thomas okay. Kelly. And Thomas Kelly and my relative, Timothy D.C., were being uh, transported in a van to a prison. And 30 Irish Republican Brotherhood members surrounded the van. Again, Mr. Trump, they tried to flee the two members. The British soldier would not open the door, and unfortunately, as he decided to open the door to see what was going on, that's when one of the Brotherhood members fired the rifle into him accidentally killing him. So that was a policeman. Britain rounded up 30 Irish people, so the law on trial ended up convicting three. They were known as the Manchester Martyrs. William Michael Allen was only 18. William Philip Allen, I'm sorry. Michael O'Brien and Michael Larkin were 31 and 32. They're known as the Manchester Martyrs. You ever want to look them up on the Wikipedia? So this is a song called God Save Ireland. And if you know it, sing along. I am a 
Mike Brown. And all the stones on Chevy Chrysler, except the green stones in front, they are real dark Nice. Oh, there you go. See if you can dress. God save Ireland, said the heroes. God save Ireland, save y'all. I see a clapping when a rock is kept on high on the battlefield. We died. What kind of win for Ireland? Hear me call. Yeah! Here's my favorite verse. I always catch the three of them climbing up the stairs. I lay up the ragged stairs, rang their voices out in prayer. There went England's fatal cord around and cast. Close beside the gallows tree, kissed my brother's loving tree. To a home in faith and freedom to the last. Here we go! Singing, God save Ireland, said the heroes. God save Ireland, say we all. Whether we're up the scaffold high or the battlefield we die, what matter when for Ireland did we fall? God save Ireland, save we all. Whether we're up the scaffold high or the battlefield. Nice little event. What matter when for Ireland did we fall? One more time with the chorus and you know it's singing. Singing, God save Ireland, save the hero. God save Ireland, save we all. Whether or not the scaffold high or the battlefield we die, what matter when we for Ireland here we fall? Here we go! Whether or not the scaffold high or the battlefield we die, what matter when we fall? Down something? Yeah, what do you, how do you like? It's all as a fetch it. Pretty high up in the front. Oh, okay, that's it. <laughs> Did you get three dresses? I did indeed. It's going to get some shirt. I had a good time so far. You got some amazing seats all over. There is not a bad seat. Let's look at this statue over here, real quick. Oh, okay. It's over there. No, it's right. You can take it. It's like Thomas Edison. What's that dude that uh, Ford, Henry Ford? And I don't know who the other person is. It's a drinking song, you better have your beer. Where's your beer? I have 
All right, what do you think of it? I like it. It's a nice little festival, kind of like the Italian festival, like in Safety Harbor. Yeah. Uh, a lot of entertainment, a little car show going on, a little stuff for sale. They got a little bit of food. And I'm sure as the years go by, they get bigger and bigger. But a lot of people are here for that live band beer and uh, eat some food. That live band's gonna be here all day night. long yeah. and all night. Yeah, and then it's like a two day event yep. here in Fort Myers. So. All right, downtown Fort Myers, baby.